Let's run for the crime of involuntary manslaughter. The case against Anita Petty is dismissed. Plus a guilty verdict, and yet Anita Petty is set free. We'll explain at 10. And reaction to the new stalker law, will it protect victims living in fear as our series continues? All this plus an eye on sports at 10. This is TV8, KCCI TV, Des Moines. Good evening, I'm Walter Cronkite. In the summer of 1991, an extraordinary event took place aboard a Soviet ship in the North Atlantic. A group of the world's foremost undersea pioneers from the United States, Canada, and Russia united to meet a most unusual challenge. The challenge to send two and one half miles into the abyss to reveal the mysteries and the treasures of the greatest shipwreck in the world. The RMS Titanic, which on a calm, clear night 80 years ago, sank to the horror and grief of the entire world. Who could have imagined but a few years ago, these former Cold War adversaries sharing the same life support system in the two most advanced miniature deep diving submarines in the world. Join us as some of the boldest deep sea pioneers of the 20th century confront the challenge of placing two tiny 23-foot Russian submarines on the decks of Titanic, 12,460 feet beneath the Atlantic. some of the roughest weather on earth. Here we will confront the challenge of reaching Titanic. We're on board the largest research vessel ever to sail the seven seas. unique ship, 130 men and women are preparing for one of the most demanding and dangerous deep ocean projects ever attempted. Probe the mysteries of the Titanic with two Russian experimental submarines. The core of this crew may not see home for a year as they pursue their deep sea mission. At the heart of this great ship's capabilities are two $20 million submersibles capable of descending four miles with a crew of three. These inner space vehicles, these high-tech machines, are to undersea exploration what Apollo 11 was to landing man on the moon. This unparalleled Starship Enterprise, this, the most advanced of all deep sea systems in the world, is capable of reaching more than 80% of the least explored region on Earth, the deep ocean. The capabilities and crew of this great ship, the academic Keldish, represent the new Russia and the dawn of change. Who could have imagined a decade ago, people of what was once the Soviet Union working so closely with North Americans? 
the point of all this trust and technology, one that will challenge this extraordinary ship and crew, is Titanic. Shrouded in the perpetual night of the abyss, nearly three miles deep. When we return, the challenge of Titanic. Titanic, treasure of the deep. Sponsored by AT&T. Proud to sponsor our Olympic hopefuls as they train for the 1992 U.S. Olympic team. Some small businesses need to be heard around the world. Introducing AT&T Partners in Business International, the calling plan with a choice. Get a discount to most any country if you make just a few short calls and faxes a month. Or take this choice. Pick the one country that's most important to your business and get an extra 10% discount. AT&T Partners in Business. Choices. Because one size does not fit all. Call us. the best charcoal, Kingsford, with just the right amount of lighter fluid, already added. That's why there's only one match for match light. Match light from Kingsford. Extraordinary voyage begins in Bermuda as the North American team of deep sea experts boards Keldish and sails north towards Titanic and a rendezvous with history. major participant aboard this great ship has a compelling reason to be committed to the Titanic expedition. For the Russians, Titanic provides a prime opportunity to demonstrate to the West and the world their advanced deep sea system. For the Canadians, these innovative submersibles are key to recording the greatest images ever of Titanic. An IMAX team will attempt to capture Titanic on the world's largest film format to be projected on screens up to eight stories high. We could build a structure that goes in. The U.S. group is divided. Some support the Canadians. Others will document the challenge. And some look to the possibility of exploring what hidden treasures may lay at the bottom with Titanic. Probably to a collector, just as a, as a coin, probably $700 from the Titanic, $70,000. But can these former adversaries really work together? A hint may lie in the very name of the submarines. For me, the, uh, the mirrors are peace machine. The word mirror means peace. Dr. Joe McGinnis is a principal organizer of the expedition. It's a change in attitude an attitude that we've had now for 45, 50 years, since the end of the last war, we have looked at each other across the Atlantic Ocean as warriors. North Americans, Russians. Uh, there is a strategic confrontation that went on for almost 50 years, and that is changing, and this is an expression of that change. This attitude towards change is an extraordinary group of individuals. We sat down on the foredeck, the forecastle, the bridge. Titanic uh, expert, the American Ralph White, knows the wreck site better than anyone aboard. 
you could go and light something and do your shots, and we could come along and, and help you light your shots as well. Stephen Lowe, a Canadian, will direct the new 70mm IMAX film Titanica, choreographing a two-sub ballet nearly three miles deep. Emery Kristoff will cover the event for National Geographic. It's collapsing, and you really don't want to have the sub mixed up in a big collapse structure. Little has occurred in deep sea photography that Emery has not pioneered. Another pioneer of the undersea world is American Al Giddings. Known internationally for his work on feature films and television, Giddings will direct network coverage of the event. You know, the rails are then wide, left to right. It looks so wild. The man who will direct the attempts to reach Titanic with this extraordinary group is Russian Dr. Anatoly Sagalovich. In the sub, no problem. Three people all together. And all the problems on the land just away from us. The Keldishmir deep diving system is Anatoly's creation. The mirrors really represent the life distillation of experience of Sigalovich. And this is one man's view of what a deep ocean submarine should be like, and it is, it's really inspired. Each Russian submersible is a complex craft designed to reach depths of 20,000 feet and withstand pressures of 10,000 pounds per square inch. The personnel compartment is a seven-foot steel pressure sphere and must support three people for dives of 20 hours and more. The sub's only connection to the surface is radio. To maintain the Russian schedule, the combined crews must complete installation and test all new deep ocean systems in nine days. A nine-day period when former political adversaries must become working allies. If we, if we have to make something for you, we will. To be in Bermuda for that moment of initial coming together, the kind of a uh, collision, if you will, of different worlds from North America, the Soviet Union, potentially colliding, and then to see it come together with such uh, marvelous grace and interaction. During a series of shallow night dives north of Bermuda, Deep sea cameras and high intensity lighting systems are tested. Go down to the bottom, turn, turn the lights on, open the lights and descend. Okay, uh, Will, Will, we got you. That first time with four lights in Bermuda was pretty spectacular. I guess by then, um, I had a pretty good feeling that we were, were going to pull this off. Again, may, maybe naively. I mean, it, it, um, but having those four lights working at all, even once, I, did, I, was, I thought it was quite a miracle because you know, I, I didn't think it was going to work. But the critical deep sea systems are working and Keldis steams north toward Titanic. This sharing of technologies would have been unthinkable in the Cold War atmosphere only a few years ago. Yet here, East and West share the dream of creating historic images of Titanic, her decks awash in light. But why now? Well, the cost of operating this complex Russian system is staggering. Harsh economic realities of the former Soviet Union have forced Anatoly Sigalovich to seek other support or see his dream lost. When the possibility of working with the West on Titanic presented itself, Anatoly seized the opportunity to realize desperately needed dollars to support Keldish, and more importantly, the chance to demonstrate to the West and to the world the capabilities of his deep sea system. When we return, the descent and Titanic. Mercury Sable continues to distinguish itself as a leader in automotive design. 
This year, we redesigned the exterior, the interior, the instrument panel, and equipped it with dual airbags, a feature not offered by any other manufacturer in this class. Other than that, we've pretty much left it alone. All this on the quality of a Mercury. Sodom and Gomorrah really existed. Experts discover how the Red Sea actually parted. William Devane hosts Ancient Secrets of the Bible next. One of Steven Spielberg's greatest films, starring Oprah Winfrey, Danny Glover, and Whoopi Goldberg. A television event, The Color Purple, Saturday. The deal is made, lover. An executive power play. I'm afraid you're jumping to some very fast conclusions. Puts Jessica on the trail of a corporate murder. Did you kill your wife? An all-new Murder, She Wrote Sunday. AIDS is a preventable infectious disease. Find out the basic facts by calling the National AIDS Hotline at 1-800-342-AIDS. Keldish sails north. Titanic, now less than two days away. The submersibles are the focus for most aboard. So he's saying what he has now is the maximum speed, but he can slow it down. These are the sea people. These are the people who come out here as if they're going home. Uh, this is where it all comes together for all of us to, to be here, where what becomes paramount are, are those human qualities that you find in a place like this. Trust, courage, honesty. Trust, courage, honesty. Impossible between East and West only a short time ago. Now a reality in the North Atlantic. Anatoly Sigalovich is going through levels of risk that we in the Western world have no comprehension. Behind the ramparts of the Kremlin are the reformers and the reactionaries struggling for the new Russia. And somehow Anatoly has managed out of that chaos to bring this ship and these submarines a uh, hundred million dollars worth of technology and put it onto this project. The risks that he's taken are uh, colossal. He's had to personally sign off for, uh, for the full responsibility. And in the end, the only reason that we're here now is that this Russian, this wonderful child of Lenin and Tolstoy, has said to himself, this is worth doing. And I would like to wish you the happiness and to all of us success in this not so easy expedition. Thank you very much. Keldish arrives at 
the site where in 1912, on a cold, calm April night, over 1,500 went to their death. Thoughts turned to the unrelenting terror of that horrible night. North Atlantic launch. For all aboard Keldish, an intense, tense period of total concentration. To reach Titanic, two and one half miles deep, requires a complex plan. Entanglement in the wreckage is of serious concern. So both subs, whenever possible, will descend together. 17 dives are planned for the 20 days Keldish will maintain station. This schedule will provide the maximum exposure to Titanic, but will place the most strain on subs and crew. Okay, Ralph, thank you very much. I'll communicate that to Anatoly. This is Mir 1 standing by. Over. Mir 1 is the first to be launched. Mir 2 will follow in less than an hour. Once launched, subhandlers scramble to disconnect the lift line. These men must manage whatever weather the Atlantic may offer. Each sub carries a 72-hour supply of oxygen, plus limited food and water. Now, freed from any shipboard bonds, Mir 1 is towed clear of Keldish to open water. Mir 1 begins her first descent. Sigalovich at the helm. Kristoff and Giddings will share the tiny seven-foot pressure sphere. behind in mere two is Ralph White. The descent is at about a hundred feet per minute which means that it's going to take about two hours and 45 minutes of just falling like a brick through the water column. By the time you get to 12,500 feet or two and a half miles where the Titanic lies it is totally black absent of light. With White in mere two pilot Jenner Chernayev and IMAX director Stephen Lowe use the three-hour descent to review operating procedures. AB-350, from you, over. Once on the seafloor, Navigation becomes an issue. Mir 1's scanning sonar is not operating. Hours are spent searching the seafloor. <laughs> Topside, the support crew relays essential coordinates as Sigalovich navigates seven hours into dive one. At 2.10 a.m., Sigalovich throttles back. Titanic's massive bow towers above the tiny submarine. And you can't imagine coming out of the total blackness of the deep and the shape starts to take form and the shadows start to play and there suddenly before you is the bow of the Titanic. And you think about all the history and 
everything associated with this probably the most famous wreck in the world and it humbles you submarine pilot. This is a monster shipwreck with uh, huge pieces of plate and wires and cable. Its size is overwhelming. The darkness is overwhelming. The depth is overwhelming. Overwhelming. No better word describes Titanic. She was the largest and most luxurious liner of her time. Almost 900 feet long, Titanic was built to serve the lucrative Atlantic trade. The public considered Titanic unsinkable, a symbol of her opulent era. When she was lost on her maiden voyage from Southampton to New York, the shock was worldwide. Today, only the 1986 loss of the space shuttle Challenger can compare in public outcry and grief. When we return, the mystery and majesty of Titanic. AT&T Reach Out America customers will soon hear 40% more laughter. Their memories will be 40% brighter. And their smiles will be 40% warmer. Because calls made from 5 to 10 p.m. on your June bill will be 40% less than AT&T standard rates for customers with an evening discount. 40% off on calls to everyone. And 40% less means 40% more to share. <laughs> One of Steven Spielberg's greatest films, starring Oprah Winfrey. When you're free, me and the baby be waiting. Danny Glover. Do what I tell you. And Whoopi Goldberg. I'm poor, but dear God, I'm here. 30 years in the lives of three unforgettable people. Nominated for 11 Academy Awards, a three-hour television event. <laughs> the Color Purple, Saturday on CBS. Titanic, Treasure of the Deep, will continue. From Delaware to D.C., a top international field competes in the USA's premier cycling event, the Tour de Pont, Sunday on CBS Sports. Oh, the joys of motherhood. My water broke! When your closest friends rally to your side. You don't have a backpack! And those twinges of new life stir within you. Experience the serenity and joys of childbirth with Murphy Brown, the mother of all season finales Monday. This is CBS. Coming on video cassette. Good evening, ladies. I want you to hell off my property. One of the most acclaimed thrillers of all time, Robert De Niro. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Nick Nolte. Did he touch you? Jessica Lange. I'm not a trial here! From director Martin Scorsese, Kate Fear. Coming June 4th from MCA Universal Home Video. in Indianapolis will have the story at 10. Titanic. Why did she sink? What really happened that night to passengers and crew? 
A sobering glimpse came in a dramatic film based on survivors' accounts. The 1958 motion picture, A Night to Remember. What did you see? Iceberg, dead ahead, sir. Iceberg, dead ahead, sir. Hard to stop it. Hard to stop it, sir. Titanic carried lifeboats for just under 1,200. That night, 2,228 people were on board. The loss of life was appalling. Many refused to believe Titanic could sink no. and would not board the lifeboats. Don't go. Only 705 survived. 1,523 died. Titanic's officers' quarters faced the now deserted boat deck. A forward lifeboat davit. The encrusted pulley still intact. From here, lifeboat number one went away with only 12 aboard. Survivors reported that those who had no escape met their fate with grace and dignity. Maritime historian Charles Sachs. One of the most heroic acts of that night was the band, the orchestra. They played some music to calm the passengers. It could only be described as one of the most haunting moments in mankind's history. To sit in a lifeboat, adrift in this dark, cold night, staring at this huge ship, a blaze of light, slowly settling at the sea, a rocket shooting up, and a ragtime tune of a band drifting across the sea. It was the end of an era. The subs are powered by massive batteries that require recharging after each dive. During this period, repairs are made, crews exchanged, and operating procedures refined. The Russians' ability to service and dive two submersibles on a 24-hour-a-day schedule impressed all aboard. Weather is a constant concern when the subs are launched and recovered. Calm ocean at departure can easily become raging sea on return. Responsible for recovery in any weather are the subhandlers, or cowboys as the North Americans nicknamed them. Dedicated, they're up at all hours and in constant physical danger. The Soviets built their boats to, for long duration and we make dives that have gone up to 21 hours. Now that's a long time to be in a cold soaked ball where the temperature, say, is now in the 40s. You can't move around to get warm, and so you layer on the clothes. And of course, everything that you're breathing out, all that moisture is condensing on the cold walls, and it comes down in this kind of cold rainforest.
The discomfort of working in a seven-foot pressure sphere is forgotten as Titanic's cargo crane and toppled mast come into view. Here was the crow's nest on the forward mast. From here, Lookout Frederick Fleet called out the iceberg warning and watched in horror as a small mountain of ice raked Titanic's starboard side. Iceberg, get ahead, sir! Along this promenade, Titanic's frightened passengers stared in disbelief as the great ship shuddered and began to sink by the bow. The bridge, still in place. The bronze helm or steering control. Titanic's wooden wheel long since decayed. It was here that Robert Hitchens, Titanic's quartermaster, desperately turned hard to starboard in an effort to save the ship. Few metals can withstand the corrosive force of the sea. Gold is one, bronze another. During dives, the sub-operations room is the center of activity and concern. Here, the position and status of the subs are constantly monitored. When the subs are at depth, the pace slows for deck crews and others aboard. five feet, Kellersh is just under half the length of Titanic. Small for an ocean liner, but enormous for a deep sea research system. This Russian vessel is truly a village afloat. This is a big ship for long ocean expeditions. And of course, such a big and comfortable ship is very important because the people spent a lot of time on this ship. Chris Nicholson is a member of the North American support team. Life on the Keldish. Unique. The meals are better than I expected. But um, we'd kill for cheesecake. <laughs> We're very lucky to have um, a reasonably decent cook who works wonders with what, what he has to work with. I understand they're spending approximately 90 cents per person per day to feed us. That's quite remarkable. As the hours pass on Keldish, two and one half miles below, on the decks of Titanic, the IMAX team succeeds in making images no one thought possible but a few years ago. Okay, Jenna, we're, we're going to go in towards the main engines. In the stern there, just keep going forward. And... Stephen Lowe in Mir 2 passes over one of Titanic's massive reciprocating engines. Over four stories high, this engine was one of three that delivered a total of 46,000 horsepower. What the Titanic does is it reminds us all of our own mortality. It's kind of, to me, a giant symbol of the, of the passing of all of our lives and how temporary life is. Uh, 
Does Titanic lie on hallowed ground? Many feel nothing should be recovered from the great ship. Others believe salvaged artifacts would keep the lessons and legend of Titanic alive. Titanic carried no treasure, no great shipment of gold or diamonds. However, her wealthy passengers did possess jewelry, cash, and works of art that would have been placed in the purser's safe. The expedition that discovered Titanic, led by Dr. Robert Ballard in 1985, brought nothing to the surface. In 1987, however, a French-American team had a different agenda. When we return, the controversy and treasure of Titanic. C of F, X, cosine squared over the derivative of sine, cosine, X, to the fourth power one has to first differentiate the reciprocal inverse powers of the equation thus canceling the variables from both sides this then allows us to apply Bohr's theorem to the entire equation making sine cosine cubed now four times y sine minus the derivative of six f of x squared and making sine cosine squared equal to anybody anyone got this Fourteen cavities? I didn't think I had that many teeth. They're gonna have to drill. My parents will be very upset. Parents today hope their kids won't have to go through what they went through. Luckily, today's kids use the toothpaste more dentists recommend. Crest. Crest fluoride formula strengthens tooth enamel, helping to protect against cavities. Another great checkup. Yes. Woo, woo, woo. Later, dude. <laughs> Crest, the dentist's choice, is the easy choice. New bunch. Keebler introduces the start of something big. New Sweet Spots cookies. It all begins small enough with a bite-sized shortbread cookie. But then, on top, a big chocolatey drop for an unbelievably big chocolatey taste. Remember, these are professional cookie-baking elves. Do not try this yourself. But do try this, a handy four-pack of Sweet Spots. The little cookie with a big, big chocolatey taste. New Sweet Spots, only from Keebler. The Sony Handycam camcorder. It can play back on any TV. <laughs> so you can watch what you shot on vacation, even while you're still on vacation. <laughs> For easy playback on any TV, the answer is Sony, without question. What's happening is real. Intruders, they are among us, and beginning Sunday, you will believe. She thinks they did. It's a memory I'll never forget. He knows they didn't. We never had sex. Will she take the news graciously? Oh, look. All new Northern wow. Exposure, Monday. These gold coins were among those recovered from Titanic in 1987. When the great ship slipped beneath the icy North Atlantic waters on April 15, 1912, most of these coins carried a face value of about five U.S. dollars. Today, this cache of coins could bring millions. 200 of these gold coins were recovered from a single purser's bag found near Titanic. Five additional purser's bags have been seen near the wreck where they remain even today. The man who recovered the bag containing these coins is Ralph White. There was $62,000 in cash, a lot of diamond jewelry, and a lot of gold coins. These coins, coins are probably, to a collector, just as a, as a coin, probably $700 from the Titanic, $70,000. As the ship was sinking, the pursers emptied out the large safes on the Titanic, put them into these black leather bags. They came out on deck, and either because the lifeboats were full, the lifeboats had already left the ship, or they felt that a, saving a few more lives was more important than putting these valuables on board. They were left on the deck of the Titanic, and when the Titanic went down, they became part of the debris field.
Titanic began her final plunge into the abyss, she broke in two. The 470-foot bow section careened into the seafloor, facing north. Some 2,000 feet southwest, the stern section landed like a stone, collapsing decks, creating total chaos. Scattered between the bow and stern is a quarter-mile debris field containing pieces of the ship and personal effects. When Titanic came apart, thousands of items tumbled out and fell like rain to the bottom. Titanic's engine order telegraph. It bore witness to the ship's final command. A white star cup that somehow survived the two and a half mile fall to the bottom. Perhaps last used by a young immigrant dreaming of the new world. served Titanic's passengers for a mere four and one-half days. In the absence of light and at 29 degrees, the debris field is a time capsule. I think seeing all these uh, personal artifacts, it gives you a real sense of uh, melancholy and sadness, uh, realizing that so many people lost their lives there. Paul Mockler spent 30 hours filming Titanic as a member of the IMAX team. The suitcase was fascinating because when you see something like that, you want to open it and find out what's in there. We picked it up and we looked at it and put it back. To the east, not far away, Mere One happens upon a remarkable find. Undisturbed for eight decades, a piece of ornamental gold, a candlestick perhaps, is carefully examined and returned. For Sigalovich is ordered that no artifacts be recovered on this expedition. It took Titanic perhaps 10 minutes to plunge to the bottom. It will take Mir 1 nearly three hours to return to the surface. Keldish has been working 35 days, with operations continuing around the clock. Twelve of the 17 dives completed, more than three days have been spent traveling the 12,000-foot water column between Keldish and Titanic. The sub-crews have nearly 180 hours working Titanic. The intensity of the schedule has sub-crews exhausted, and maintenance is becoming an issue. We are kind of out of the game, and they will need to repair the sub tomorrow. Over. Wisely, Sigalovich shuts down sub operations for 48 hours. For two days and nights, Keldish rolls quietly as gentle North Atlantic rain sweeper decks. All aboard, welcome the break. With the final dives scheduled, important questions are considered. What can be learned of Titanic's structural damage? How extensive was the starboard hole created by the iceberg? 
and what remains of her three propellers and once graceful stern. Mirror One passes over the third class lounge. A few recognizable tiles remain. Even with the experience of a dozen dives, the sub-pilots approach the chaotic stern with respect and caution. The subs inch forward under the overhanging stern. A labyrinth of twisted decks and rusted bulkheads overhead. Kristoff and Giddings are anxious to film Titanic's giant propellers, if possible. The starboard propeller. It weighed over 20 tons and spanned 23 and a half feet. This moment marks the first time in six years of work in the deep sea that both submersibles radio link to Keldish has been broken. When those subs disappeared, there was a kind of sound silence that went up. No word, nothing, not a whisper. Like uh, the astronauts went to the far side of the moon, nobody knew what was going on. Titanic's propellers lie far under her massive hull, making the radio link to Keldish impossible. Aware of the problem, Mir-1 backs away and re-establishes contact with an anxious topside operations crew. Titanic struck the iceberg at 11.40 in the evening. Two hours and 40 minutes later, she was gone. Since that April night in 1912, the question concerning structural damage to Titanic has remained unanswered. A gaping hole in Titanic's starboard side, perhaps the result of her two and a half mile plunge into the seafloor, offers no clue to the extent of the iceberg damage. Portholes above the torn plates give a sense of scale. Titanic is without question committed to the depths forever. A memorial to those who perished with her. A treasure revealed by two inner space vehicles few could have imagined in 1912. The final ascent from the decks of Titanic. The challenge has been met. The submersible surface for the last time, closing for now an historic window into the past. It took three years, 15,000 people, a king's ransom, to build the Titanic. And it took 10 seconds to punch a hole in it that sent it to the bottom. It's a big lesson in that. We still have to learn that technology, as important as it is, even expressed in these submarines in the ship, is not the answer. The answer to our future is in, in our intuition in our hearts, in our eyes, and in the, uh, the spirit of brotherhood that's out here. It's in our thoughts and our ideas. That's the summary of this expedition. Something very special happened between a group of very unusual human beings here. We've been very lucky. We've seen the future.
The future may indeed be special for this Russian inner space system. The success of 17 12,000 foot dives on Titanic makes it clear that we have witnessed a new era in deep sea exploration. Now all but a fraction of the abyss can be reached, reached by vehicles capable of both revealing the rich maritime history of centuries past and perhaps plundering the priceless relics of our seafaring heritage. Just how these treasures of the deep will fare in the future, no one can predict. I'm Walter Cronkite. Good night. Tonight, America speaks out for what it wants. Hello, Domino's. America wants our America's favorite pizza feast, pepperoni, sausage, mushroom, a medium, just eight ninety nine. This just in. Nobody knows like Domino's. How you like pizza at home? If you're a small business that calls one area code more than others, you can choose a calling plan designed just for you. Introducing the AT&T Partners in Business Plan. You can get a 20% discount on the area code you call most automatically, even if your calling patterns change each month. AT&T Partners in Business. Choices. Because one size does not fit all. Call us. What are you doing? Pouring on A1. Before? Don't you do that after? Yeah, but today I'm doing it before instead of after. Hmm. It looks different doing it before. Think it'll taste different after? Because before, you did it after. Try it. Whoa, before you eat it all. Oh, after you. A1, it's how steak is done. An allergy attack can start small. But before you know it, your allergy is full grown. That's when you need Dimatap. Maximum strength Dimatap Extend Tabs work for 12 full hours. Dimatap, relief for the full grown allergy attack. Our government says this is not happening, but the facts can't be ignored. Intruders, they are among us. A world premiere movie starting Sunday, you will believe. Now, it is the most widely read book ever, but is it fact or fable? William Devane is your host for Ancient Secrets of the Bible, next. I'm Charles Kuralt. Violence at home, men beating up women. One city seeks a solution, and that's a story for us this Sunday morning. Want to feel good, really good? We promise you, you will, after you've seen what American doctors have done for these Russian kids. Sunday on 60 Minutes. Monday. What is it? The remains of Edith Newton. Will Wood go overboard for a fancy funeral? All new evening day. Then, Camp Hollister is history. Can the Major handle it? I say he's lost to the poor son. The season finale of Major Dad. <laughs> Monday. All those who love great comedy say hi. This is CBS. Plaza Collections welcomes a very elite name, Century Furniture, offering more than 2,000 fabrics, trims, and other decorative options. The professional decorators at Plaza Collections will help you custom design living areas that are comfortable and imaginative. Sound expensive? Century Furniture is 40% off manufacturer's suggested retail every day. This beautiful sofa, $9.99. Discover the very best for less. Plaza Collections at Homemakers West. Mmm, the thick, rich taste you love. But sometimes... Some days... You're in the mood for something a little bit tangy, a little bit kicky, a little bit spicy. Yeah, Heinz 57 sauce. It's like ketchup with a kick. Anita Petty is found guilty but is set free. The story at 10.